Hi, I'm Nurse Julie. And I'm Miss Mia. And we are the Nutrition Outreach Coordinators at Willie Brown. So that means we work with a group of students called Nutrition Outreach Workers, or NOWS, who create projects to help get their peers excited about food and drop a little knowledge about nutrition. And this year's Willie Brown NOWS are... Hello, my name is Lucia Jones. I'm an African-American student at Willie Brown, and I work for Nutrition Outreach Workers. Also known as the now. Hi, I'm Denia, seventh grader, part of the Willie Brown Nutrient Outreach Workers, also known as the Nouns Group. Being a now comes with a lot of responsibilities. You have to be on time, make sure you have everything you need, and know what you're doing. Hello, my name is Sincere Jones. I am an attrition outreach worker at Willie Brown, and I am joined here today by my dad and my grandma. And today I'll be making Jack Mackerel. After we're done washing our hands, as you should always do when you start cooking, we're going to get into the ingredients. So yep. So, start off by the crackers, preferably premium saltine crackers. But we, if you're healthier, you can use whole grain. Okay, we use these. So we crunch these, crunch them up, party ingredients to crunch up and put inside of the salmon croquette. Kind of like a breading, yes? For the bread texture. We also have flour. It's the main part of it too. Make sure you use gold metal. It holds it together. Bacon powder makes it a little thicker, fluffy. We also have a little black pepper for the spice, a little bit. We also add a little bit of cornmeal too. Gives it a little bit of crunch when you fry it. And let's go with eggs. One egg per can. It gives it its structure, stability. So far as keep it simple like a glue, a paste to keep the whole salmon croquet together. Now for the three we have to list. We're gonna start off with the green onions. The green onions is very high in vitamin C. Which helps you make scabs and I need that a lot personally because I hurt myself a lot. A lot of scars. Okay. And we're going to start off with the corn oil. While oil and grease is also is very important for this meal, make sure you be safe with it because it does slow down your digestive system. It hurts a lot. And main ingredient was just the pink salmon for the salmon croquettes. 
while salmon is cool but most fish is just in general high in um irons like well not irons minerals which it which includes iron and potassium and zinc and you know all the healthy minerals you need okay. now we will proceed to prepare the dish um so I don't this, so what's up that mom's the best at it so <laughs> okay what we're going to do here now that we're getting ready to prepare the meal we're going to have him get the can of the pink salmon and then he needs to empty all the, the juice out of it as you can see really into, into the juice and once all the juice is emptied real fine he needs to take it out and make sure each salmon and you have to be careful to empty the bones out of each one. Once you do that very well, you have to make sure that it's in there. As you can see, see that and put the bones back in the can. That was the next thing. And after doing. throwing all of your uh, salmon into a pretty big bowl, proceed to cut up your green onions. Yeah, the next thing we would do, you have to go to the salmon and uh, and with a fork and smash it up real fine like tuna. So when you get ready to mix it, it would be already fine and all, yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, the next preparation we're going to do now, after he find the, the salmon good, he's going to put some pepper in there some for seasoning. Please crack them. You have to crack your eggs. Unless you crack your eggs with a knife. And then do the next one. And then you got to beat it up real fine. That's it. Get the, you need two full tablespoons. Okay, the next preparation is the green onions. And as you can see, they're already uh, chopped up real fine. And then you mix that up real good. Our next preparation is the saltine crackers and he has cut them up real fine. Okay, um, the next step is going to be the all-purpose uh, flour. He's going to put a cup of flour and the flour is to hold everything intact. Okay. Now it's time for you to start putting together okay. in whatever size you wanted. You want you don't want to do it too big. You want to pat it together, uh, I, yeah, a little bit, and then you pat it with this flour here, and that's the thing that's going to hold each together. Okay. I'll see. You see how that is? That's and you use that to pat it together. Once you have fully packed together a couple of patties, you know what I mean? Okay, now that we've prepared everything, now we're going to put in the oil. It's still a turbo butter. To warm it up, you start from high first yeah. just to get the grease going. And then once the grease is hot, turn it down to medium before you start frying the patties. Right. Okay, the last step, there's no will be the cornmeal. The patty goes into the cornmeal, get it on both sides. You want to lay it in there very easy so it don't break. Really easy. Normally what happens is we let it fry on these sides, but what happens is it, it makes, like you say, about the heat. We don't know the temperature, but what we're going to do is, is just allow it to be brown on each side. Yeah. Okay. And not too brown, but just golden brown. In for a minute. See how golden brown it is? Yeah. Perfect. And, it, and they're not... Um, That's beautiful. They're not uh, breaking up. Oh, no. They hold it perfect. Yeah. 
the mackerel is done, time for the taste test. Here we have our two diners, which are, which are my grandparents. Yeah. Heavily. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about why those veggies are important for you. Uh, we hope it's inspired you to try cooking something new. And if you're interested next year, please reach out to either Nurse Julie or myself. See you soon!